The North Country now has more instructors to teach police the do's and don'ts of high speed chases. And it's all thanks to special training performed on Fort Drum. 7 News anchor Diane Rutherford continues her behind the scenes look. Yeah. Feeling ill yet? Or no, okay? no, I'm good. It's a wild ride, the police pursuit. Officers receive special training to safely chase suspects. Every maneuver is important. We don't want to squeal the tires too much because that means you're probably out of control. Part of Fort Drum's Wheeler Sack Army Airfield is turned into a one mile obstacle course. The cones represent things like pedestrians and other cars. So the idea is to not hit anything. Sergeant Ben Temmerman is an EVOC instructor. So is Lieutenant Robert Derwin. EVOC stands for Emergency Vehicle Operators Course. During this particular training, students from a dozen law enforcement agencies are learning to become instructors so they can teach future generations of police. A lot of these police departments don't have something like this. And if you're going to teach an EVOC instructor course, you want something as big as what we have. Officer Ashley Coffey of the Canton Police Department is now able to teach other officers what they need to know during a pursuit. You're going at a high speed, you have to be observant of your location and giving that out to your dispatch so they know speed of the vehicle, speed of your vehicle, your direction of travel, if you need additional help to set up stop sticks to stop the vehicle. What are stop sticks? They're tire deflation devices often used to safely end pursuits. Students learn how to deploy a practice one that has no barbs. In the real world, police risk their lives using them. There's uh, a lot of opportunities there to, to be struck by a fleeing vehicle. Patrolman Andrew Lang of the Ogdensburg Police Department has experience with a real world pursuit in his city. After completing this class, he's now a certified EVOC instructor. It's sharpening our skills so that we can better serve our communities. With the class and obstacle course behind them, the newly certified EVOC instructors can now train other police how to be above board when suspects need to be chased down. Diane Rutherford, 7 News.